हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू सो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट तो सर कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं हम लोग अपनी डिस्कशन किसके ऊपर सर हम लोग कर रहे थे बात पेपर नंबर थ्री सी ए आई पी सी सी ओल्ड कोर्स कॉस्टिंग एफ एम आते हैं सर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पे क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर का ए पार्ट हम लोगों ने कंप्लीट कर लिया था जो था प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग के ऊपर बहुत ही सिंपल क्वेश्चन अब आते हैं पार्ट बी uh, पर जो पार्ट बी है दैट इज फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट और किस टॉपिक से है सर ये जो टॉपिक है हमारा दैट इज फ्रॉम कैपिटल बजटिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स चलो सर देखते हैं हमारे पास क्वेश्चन क्या कहता है अ केमिकल कंपनी इज प्रेजेंटली पेइंग एन आउटसाइड फर्म रुपी वन पर गैलन टू डिस्पोज ऑफ द वेस्ट रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम इट्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑपरेशंस एट नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग कैपेसिटी द वेस्ट इज अबाउट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड गैलन पर ईयर राइट सो वी आर अ कंपनी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग फिफ्टी थाउजेंड गैलन ऑफ द वेस्ट पर ईयर एंड फॉर द डिस्पोजल ऑफ दैट वेस्ट दे आर पेइंग वन रुपी पर गैलन राइट After spending sixty thousand on the research, the company discovered that the waste could be sold for rupees ten per gallon if it was processed further. So, company uh, did some research on this uh, project and they discovered that they can, uh, you know, process this waste further and they can sell it for rupees ten per gallon. Additional processing would, however, require an investment of six lakh in the new equipment, which would have an estimated life of ten years with no salvage value. depreciation to be calculated by the straight line method except for the cost incurred in advert uh, advertising rupees 20000 per year no change in the present selling and administrative expenses is expected if the new product is sold so there will be an advertising expenditure every year for rupees 22 uh, 20000 the details of the additional processing cost are as follows variable cost rupees 5 per gallon of waste put into process fixed cost excluding depreciation is 30000 per year right there will be no losses in the processing and it is assumed that the total waste processed in a given year will be sold in the same year there will be no stock also right estimates indicate that 50000 gallons of the product will be sold each year the management when confronted with the choice of disposing of the waste or processing it further and selling it seeks your advice which alternative would you recommend assume that the firm's cost of capital is 15% and pays an average 50% tax on its income you should consider present value of annuity 1 rupee 15% per annum for 10 years 5.019 now you know that the the, uh, the company has a choice whether to continue with the present system or they want to install this new system for which they will require an equipment of 6 lakh rupees right so what we should be doing is we'll be calculating the npv for this new proposal so if the npv is positive we can say that we can go with the new proposal okay now for the npv you need two things one is the cash inflow you need the cash inflow and the cash outflow right so in this case what will be the cash inflow cash inflow will be sales minus cost and all those things cfat i can see okay i'll write it as cfat okay what will be the cash outflow cash outflow will be the new equipment cost new equipment cost so first step should be to calculate this cfat right so we will first calculate this cfat for cfat what we need is we have the selling price we have the variable cost we have the fixed cost we have the advertisement cost of 20000 per year right we have the depreciation so we can calculate it definitely sir question number 4 b part so the first thing is calculation of cfat calculation of C F A T. Let's see. First, we have the sales value. First, we have the sales value that is fifty thousand gallons in a year multiplied by rupees ten per gallon. This comes to five lakh rupees, right? Minus variable cost. Minus variable cost. That is uh, how much it is rupees five per gallon, fifty thousand multiplied by five. That is two lakh fifty thousand, right? So I'll subtract the fixed cost also. If you want, you can uh, show it as a contribution. Then reduce the fixed cost, right? Fixed cost thirty thousand. Even if you do it like this, no problems. 
I'll reduce the advertisement cost also because it is to be incurred every year, right? Then subtract depreciation. Very important, sir. Depreciation. What is the value of equipment? Value of equipment is six lakh rupees. What is the life? Ten years. So value depreciation. How will it come? Six lakh divided by ten. Sixty thousand. There is no salvage value, right? Any other thing? No, sir. So what is this? This is your EBT. So this EBT comes to one lakh forty thousand. Now, what is the rate of tax? So rate of tax is minus tax at the rate of fifty percent. So that means seventy thousand, right? So what is EAT? Earnings after taxes seventy thousand. Now, what will you do to calculate CFAT, sir? We'll add depreciation because depreciation is not a cash outflow or inflow. There is no cash flow in depreciation, so depreciation is sixty thousand. So my CFAT comes to my CFAT comes to how much? One lakh thirty thousand every year, right? So this is the story of every year. Right, so we'll continue for 15 years. Now, what we are going to do? We will be calculating the NPV. Now we will prepare statement of NPV. So, if the NPV turns out to be positive, we will say uh, that we will accept the proposal and go with the equipment. Right now, one question, one question, one question, sir. Very important, sir. Why haven't you taken this sixty thousand on the research cost? Why haven't you taken this? Have you taken this in the CFAT, sir? In the exam, when you have attempted your answer, have you taken the sixty thousand on the research? But I haven't taken in uh, taken it in the CFAT. Why, sir? Sir, this sixty thousand. Is my sunk cost, right? I am not going to recover anything out of this. Whether I I'll be taking the project or not, I don't know. But I have incurred sixty thousand on the research. This is my sunk cost, and I'm not going to recover it in any case. Even if I take the project, or even if I don't take the project, I'm not going to recover the sixty thousand, right? ये मेरे पास पैसा वापस आने वाला नहीं है. तो ये जो पैसा है, ये मेरे लिए हो जाता है. इरेलीवेंट जिनके पास मेरे एफ एम के नोट है जिनके पास बुक्स है एफ एम की उसमें देखना जब एनपीवी का मैंने दे रखा है जहां पर कैपिटल बजटिंग उसके साथ एक मैंने टेबल दे रखा है उसमें मैंने दे रखा है सबसे पहला पॉइंट यह संघ कॉस्ट का ठीक है इसलिए यह इरेलीवेंट है सर मैंने संघ कॉस्ट को कंसिडर नहीं किया है ठीक है क्लियर है चलो सर अब आते हैं वापस एनपीवी की स्टेटमेंट पे आ जाओ सर अब इसमें हम लोग क्या करेंगे हम लोग लेंगे सर पर्टिकुलर्स देन आई विल हैव ईयर देन आई विल हैव प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर अमाउंट एंड आई विल हैव प्रेजेंट वैल्यू प्रेजेंट वैल्यू राइट सो फर्स्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग द कैश आउटफ्लोज फर्स्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग कैश outflows right what is the cash outflow in this case sir it is the purchase price of equipment purchase of equipment right it is at zero period present value factor 1 amount is 6 lakh so the present value is 6 lakh any other thing no sir right so what is the present value pvco present value of cash outflows it comes to 6 lakh rupees any doubt clear now coming on to cash inflows now i'll talk about the cash inflows also now what does the cash inflow sir cash inflow cash inflow cash inflow cash inflow one is cfat that i'll be getting Right, CFAT, one to ten years. Okay, ten years it is. Yes, sir, it is ten years. Right, at the rate of fifteen percent. So it the value is given to you five point zero one nine. This comes to one lakh thirty thousand is the value that we have calculated. So the present value comes to six lakh fifty two thousand four hundred and seventy. अब सर यहीं से पता चल गया कि NPV positive आएगा. ठीक है. तो क्या यहीं पे खत्म कर दें? नहीं सर. 
एक चीज और आएगी कि सर अगर आप ये प्रोजेक्ट लेते हो तो क्या कोई और बचत होने वाली है आपकी इज देर गोइंग टू बी एनी अदर सेविंग इन केस यू टेक अप दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन केस यू बाय दिस इक्विपमेंट इज देर गोइंग टू बी एनी अदर सेविंग इन दिस ये सर वॉट सर दिस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इंटू वन द डिस्पोजल कॉस्ट दैट यू आर नाउ इनकरिंग यू विल बी सेविंग दिस राइट विच विल बी योर कैश इन फ्लो सो आई विल टेक दिस फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स यू विल सेव दिस सो आई कैन से सेविंग्स इन सेविंग्स इन डिस्पोजल कॉस्ट राइट for the next 10 years you would have paid that and now you are saving that 50000 rupees so you are saving this this is 2 lakh 50950 anything else sir nothing else sir so we can calculate present value of cash inflows that comes to 9 lakh 3420 so my npv is going to be what is my npv present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflows any doubt what is present value of cash inflows 9 lakh 3420 minus outflows that is 6 lakh so this comes to 3 lakh 3420 so what will you advise the company sir purchase the equipment advice advice is purchase the equipment because the npv is positive you can purchase the equipment process the waste and sell it for rupees 10 clear so this is about the question on capital budgeting right so this is my interpretation of the question again i'm saying right there can be there could be a different interpretation also so this is what i understood from the question and this is what i interpreted from the question how it should be solved right taking all the parameters in consideration and this is uh, my sunk cost so this becomes my irrelevant cost because i'm not going to earn anything against this cost right so this is this cost is just for my purpose only for the research done whether i buy the equipment or not the, uh, or not this is this cost is done i'm not going to recover anything out of this right so this is my sunk cost and it becomes irrelevant clear so with this we complete question number 4 question number 5 is theory part right so you must have uh, done it quite well so in the next lecture we'll take up question number 6 a part on standard costing very easy question very interesting question on fixed overheads right which we often uh, you know worry about zyadatar logon ko fixed overhead dekhte hi sir dar lagne lagta hai कोई बात नहीं चिंता नहीं करेंगे आराम से राइट सो सी यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टिल देन स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी थैंक यू सो मच